Hey, let's do an update. Let's see how things are growing. I skipped a water change for a week because uh, I didn't feel like coming over here. But um, I did pop in and feed them. And I had somebody do the fertilizer for me for the week. But <clears throat> this time I came by last night and I vacuumed the bottom really good. and got the algae and stuff out that was growing from not doing water changes and um, vacuumed up the ground and the sand really good looks a lot better and uh, I've been coming here at night and and doing this so I flipped the light on in the middle of the night this is the first time I've come during the day in a while so the lights have been on all day for the cycle they're gonna turn off in a few minutes so we get to see what it looks like you know in the photo period you can see some of the plants like they're purling there's a little bit of algae in here it's not too bad it was worse but looking pretty good so the stems in the back have grown back in I took the other tank, I took the 38 gallon, the low tank, and I cleared it out. So, um, we'll look at that here. This house is in the middle of moving. So this big overgrown tank, I ripped everything out from it, just left a few plants. So, it was a big mess. But what I did was, I had a few stems that I wanted to keep. And I threw them all in here in the back. So there's a little Panatopita, some Arcuata, some Merophyllum, Parrot's Feather, and a few things in here. So this is basically a holding tank for right now. This crypt has exploded, the Rosen Maiden. Flamingos are growing back. Nuries are doing great. And the Striolata Tiger, that's what this is called, is growing in really good. So... That's it. That's the update. This tank is doing really great. I'm still not sure if I'm going to completely break it down and totally empty it and move it. Or if I'm just going to drain all the water down and move it like that. I don't know if that's even possible. 